Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're going to be having the V again today. Um, I'm going to be adding a Ballinger AFR 500 wideband. I have a, what is it, uh, I think an MTX or whatever it is, and I normally have good luck with those, but this one has been jumping around, so it was not correct compared to the um, wideband that was at the dyno, so um, the tuner suggested one of these, so here's what, this came in the box, you get the, the NTX wideband, um, and that's pretty much, the wiring harness is pretty simple, so this plugs in, this plugs into the wideband, you got your hot and your ground, which, is, and it's fused, then your analog outputs the yellow and the black, now, when I hooked power up to this, I did calibrate the wideband with um, the setting it was at, and it was using the narrow 9 to 16, okay? And what I looked in the instructions, and I'm going to use the, the wide range, 6 to 20, and the only reason I'm going to do that is because on uh, the HP tuners, I cannot find... Um, that setting unless I got to put that in myself. I might take a look at that before I do that, but to do that inside You take that screw out and that screw out and then there's these little jumpers that you put in there So I took the screws out and that just slides right out of there and Here's your pins one two three and four and it tells you in the instructions to install a jumper to get you know, there's a lambda reading, and then there's the wide range of six volt, of six AFR to 20, and then there's nine to 16. So you just put the jumpers in accordingly to the instructions to get what you're looking at. What I was going to do is use jumper number two, and that'll give you the six to 20. So I got it on there now. So the next thing to do is. Put this back in and then hook power to it with the sensor and then um, turn the dial and see where we're at so here i got it powered up it's just counting down here it's probably going to say cal but the o2 is i got it hanging free air so it looks like if it's calibrated for one setting it's calibrated for all of them um but i'll just turn it in the back anyway there's this twist knob this black knob i'm going to turn it and you see how it goes down, then it's up. You want to turn it so that it's right in the middle. And then it's calibrated. And they say to let it run for a little bit, but I'm going to turn it all the way up. And see, it says 20, so that means this max is going to be 20. So we know that, that putting that jumper in got me where I wanted it to be. course and that's it so let's let it heat up for a little bit and then when you power it down you got to let it cool off um yeah that's gonna get fed through the floor where my other one where i'm gonna remove it but i'm not gonna show putting it in because um these you have to depin this to do it and it's real easy though they come right out real easily so i'll just get to it when i um get it hooked up in the car so to add this wide band in there we're gonna add a this is what I'm using here this is what most people are probably going to be using if you're doing the analog so I selected this for the blue I couldn't do the red, I think it's because I already am using the red. So then you go to transform, air fuel ratio, Ballinger AFR 500V2 wide. And that's it. So now I'll have that set to wide. This is to wide, so when I hook it up, when it's reading out, on here it should be correct okay so after further review 
looking at this boundary FR500, you got that and the light. This here, volt plus nine. Okay, or you can go here. Oops. Where it's doing the, um, that's plus six. So to me, that's telling me that this is the wide range. And the other one is the 9 to 16 range, which is what my tuner said he would want me to use. So I'm going to pull that jumper back out and just run it with that and just make sure that I'm using this one because that formula seems to be the right one, so that should work. But I'm glad I looked at that. So if you just look at between the two, if you want to switch, there's that one. And there's the wide range, which starts at 6, which tells me that's 6 volts at um, with that uh, formula there. And the other one starts off at 9. So to me, that's what it is. So I'm going to do that switch, and then I'm just going to install it in the car, and then we'll um, check it out on the um, scanner and see if it's working good. All right. So it looks like so it's bouncing around 14 and we're right there so it looks like the setting that I did was what I needed so the other one was the only thing I got to do with this is drive it down the road and make sure that it doesn't jump around like the other one was and if it does the only thing I could think of from there is I'm going to have to move the ground maybe straight to the battery or something but we'll see so I'll take it for a ride and see what happens. All right, so I took the car for a ride and um, everything's fine. Everything's smooth. I don't um, know. I had issues, like I said. It used to skip all over the place when you'd get in it, and now it just stays steady. So um, now I can continue tuning with uh, my tuner remotely, at least to get it close. Then I'll have to take it over there again. But um, until next time, we'll talk later.